Ready, set, go. It's a brand new day. And I'm feeling good. You're feeling good. Let's get, get on our way. Put that pep in your step. Put that pride in your stride. Put that smile on your face. And that twinkle in your eye. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm in a great mood. God, I'm trying to have that it. pride That's in like my a new stride. Favorite song right there. What's up? <laughs> That's a way to start a Tuesday. <laughs> you were just listening to Grammy nominated recording artist Divinity Rocks. She's toured with Beyonce, the legendary Victor Wooten. So many accomplishments. Sometimes your name is your destiny, too. Divinity Rocks. So if Divinity wins a Grammy for Best Children's Music Album, she would be the first black woman to ever receive the award. And her mission is promoting confidence and high self esteem in kids through her music. You can see how powerful it is. And guess what? She's here now with the us, musician, recording artist, and Grammy nominee, Divinity Rock. So first, I just want to say congratulations. That's a huge deal. Huge. And you actually were not a children's music artist until the pandemic. So what inspired you to create this album? And also as a parent, I got to say thank you because I listen to a lot of children's music. <laughs> not all of it is as catchy or fun. So when you have music that appeals to kids and adults, it's a win. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Well, I mean, my music has always been, my mission has always been to inspire and empower through my music. Mm -hmm. And during the pandemic, I had an opportunity to write some children's music uh, for a program that Scholastic was doing. Oh. And it just catapulted and snowballed into this children's music career that I am thoroughly enjoying being a part of. I mean, this is a pretty special moment. And if we're honest, you also, if you win this, you would be the first ever black woman to win a Grammy for the best children's music album. What does that mean for you personally? <sighs> First of all, it's always nice to be uh, honored by your peers. Yeah. So I am definitely honored. Um, but I also stand on the shoulders of women like Ella Jenkins and so many other incredible black women who have dedicated their lives to children. So while I am new to this category, I am extremely honored. And also, I really feel like um, now is the time for children to have that mirror mm -hmm. of, of themselves and that window into which people can see other cultures and experience other cultures. And I believe that that's, that's what I'm doing by making this type of music. Can we stay on that for just a minute? Because, you know, I find it interesting that and notable that this work was nominated for a Grammy when it's about self-empowerment. And I can't yes. help but notice when I look at the videos, when I watch the cover of your book, I mean, these are also a lot of children of color depicted. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that message is so important for our children now? Oh, it's so important now because throughout all of entertainment, we need more representation. Mm -hmm. It is something really empowering to see children go through my books and my music videos and see themselves. I remember my goddaughter looking through the book and saying, wow, that looks like me. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks like you, mommy. That's so empowering. There are so many children all over that reach out to me on Instagram and on social mm -hmm. media and thank me for being able to see yeah. themselves in this light throughout entertainment. Reflected. We need reflected, you know, yep. and also a window into which people who don't have people who look like me in their lives, they have a window into which they can see me and see me in an empowering space and a welcoming space and realize that I'm no different. Yeah, no, it's something I feel like our generation didn't really have reflected in the media that we consume, the shows that we watched, but my kids benefit from that. They don't even think about it when they see diversity because that's just what they've known, which is really a privilege in and of itself. So you talked about your books. Let's mention these two. Let's show the covers. Um, what are they about? And I'm just I'm curious also how writing that. children's music and being a children's musician is different than like doing it for the, the adult set. Like it's clean. What that taught you? Yeah. <laughs> And it's empowering and inspiring. Yeah. And you can write about topics that are fun. Yeah. And, and actually, you know, children are the most vulnerable of us, right? So they need and impressionable. encouragement, impressionable. Mm -hmm. So we start early with clean music yeah. that's fun, that's encouraging them, inspiring yeah, them to be the words. best version of themselves. And positive. And, yes, and that's what it's all about. I mean, listen that's to that. So Pride in that. your stride. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 That's a bad yeah. day after yeah. that. Oh, exactly. that's so good. Exactly. Grammy nominated recording artist, Divinity Rocks. This is her book. I know you had a single yes. also that just yes. came out. And I also heard a little birdie told me that you were a pretty incredible spades player. I want on oh. national television oh, let's to go. challenge you and let you know you don't spades? want this heat. Is that yeah. card game? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. no. Oh, I just want to let you know you don't want this heat. Okay. Yeah. There's no all. deck of cards here. Just so. want to throw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. For another time. For another time. Thank Divinity. you so much. Thank, Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. You are watching NBC News Daily.